like somebody's watching me. <clears throat> Don't you always feel like that? That's why you need a VPN. So a lot of you guys mentioned ExpressVPN in the comments of the last video. I decided to check them out and then we talked to them and they hooked us up with a deal where you guys can get three months for free with a full year subscription. First off, the ISPs, they pretty much watch everything you're doing. Then you also gotta worry about, you know, other outside prying eyes. With a VPN, all that traffic is encrypted and your IP address is hidden. Now, another thing that's nice about these guys is they are not located in the USA, which some of you guys mentioned in the comments. They are located outside of those eyes. All right, to get your three free months, you want to go to expressvpn.com slash tech syndicate. Under seven already, you know, you get three extra months for free with our deal. So once you're on this area, this is your activation code. Just click this and then you have all of these options. They say there's an under 20 millisecond ping anywhere in the USA. So let's give this a test and let's just try smart location button. All right, so here you guys can see with our VPN turned on, our ping is 16 and our download 72. We're paying for 75 down. That ping is completely acceptable for gaming. Now, one of the things that's really cool about this is if you're you know somewhere else in the world, they're in 94 different countries, you guys can access media that you normally wouldn't have access to. And if you're even in America and you wanna watch some movies, Try connecting to a different country and then looking at Netflix. There'll be a whole new slew of options. It's kind of ridiculous. This also has 256-bit AES encryption, so you're gonna be secured all the time. ExpressVPN.com slash tech syndicate. Now this video, we're gonna talk about extensions for Chrome. There's a lot that are just junk and they bog things down. So this list is pretty much everything I use and sometimes I use fewer than are even in this video. Now Chrome is a resource hog, so it's important not to have too many uh, extensions going on because that can just bog down your system. But hey, there's an extension to help with that as well. And I'll show you all of these in just a second. First off, let's start with AdGuard. And I use uh, just their AdGuard ad blocker. You guys can grab this here. If you're on Android, you're gonna have to download uh, the APK from here because for some reason on Android, they, they, I guess they give you hell. So you wanna do that. But I like the desktop version of the app because it not only blocks things in Chrome, it'll also block advertisements that show up in your video games, Steam on all different platforms. Uh, so I really prefer that method. It does cost a little bit, but I find the, the one-time fee to be worth it. So I used to use Stylish to style a lot of the websites that I go to because I always like to have a dark theme uh, when I'm on different websites. However, one of our members here brought this to our attention. Uh, stylish browser extension was stealing your internet history uh, and that's really ridiculous so uh, the different app stores out there like Firefox and Chrome have removed this extension and then I discovered stylus which actually happens to be a better extension in my opinion uh, and it's very easy to use so I'll show you what you guys can do with stylus so over here on Twitter I'm hanging out and um, you guys know that you do have the dark theme on Twitter come over here you can do night mode if you like. That's a pretty good theme. But if you click on stylus, uh, you can maybe find some different themes. You just click on the little icon and click find styles. Scroll around. Dark and simple. You can always layer these too. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Install style. Okay, okay. Let's see how it looks. Let me show you what we can do with Google now. Find styles. This one's kind of fun, but it gets in the way a little bit. I mean, some of you guys might like that, but click to uninstall. There we go. Clean dark. Let's see what options we have here. This is a nice flat theme. I like that. So we can always come here to stylus and we can edit this one by clicking the little pencil icon right here beside uh, beside that. So we've, down here we've got all this this code, right? And you can see what what uh, URLs this go to. So it's it's messing with notifications, Google Plus. Some of these will mess with Gmail and that can really mess with your your whole entire Gmail settings. But you can come and just remove the entire section. So if you download one. And one of these says Gmail, and it's messing with your the way your Gmail looks too much. You can you can just remove that entirely. Now with Stylus, you can really go crazy. Like you could put background images on things, if you like. It's a little bit difficult to read, so if you don't want to deal with that, just whatever. Get rid of that one. Find another one. Clean dark is really really nice in my opinion, but use whichever one you like. Next up, WikiWand is pretty good if you like. Um, I guess just easy to read Wikipedia pages. So it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to, but over here, all the tabs are lined up and you can just easily get from one to the next. Like, oh, I wanna see the list of titles. There we go. You don't have to scroll around uh, and mess with stuff. It's just way easier to use. As far as password managers goes, I like to use LastPass. Um, this is something that can work on your phone and on your browser. Uh, one thing that's really cool about this is you've got your LastPass uh, you know, password vault over here. 
but you can go and say you need to let someone log into your website to do a few things or you need to let some you know client or someone who's doing some work for you log in you can send them a an authenticated login and they will not get your password you can say like okay they can log in today but that's it and you can send it to them they can click it log in the one time do what they will do whatever they need to do and you don't have to go in and mess with your password so that's pretty handy too as far as privacy goes well you got your um, ad blocker right we got our we've got our ad guard but there's also something called privacy badger now what this does is this watches for websites that track you on the internet and it blocks them um, it will basically give them three strikes if it sees the same website following you for uh, for up to three sites then it blocks it so they cannot follow you around the web anymore. All right, another little uh, life improvement mod. This is called Just Read. Uh, PC Gamer is pretty notorious for having some invasive ads too, so I run Ad Blocker and This Read. But you know, here's our here's our article. Not that bad. But then you go over here and click This Read, Just Read, and it puts it right in the middle, lines it all up nicely, and you can even come over here and edit the text color, the text size, uh, to make everything nice and easy on your eyes. So I quite enjoy uh, Just Read. And last up, I also mentioned, uh, you know, something that will help when it comes to having a gazillion tabs or, you know, Chrome's a resource hog. The Great Suspender can be set up to suspend unused tabs to free up system memory. And you can set the variables, I'm going to say 30 minutes because my computer is fast, the internet's fast here. And you get the light and the dark theme. Let's do dark theme, why not? This can be pretty handy uh, to free up some resources if you have a lot of junk going on. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Probably my favorite thing out of everything I have here is one tab. Okay, the last thing I'm going to show you is one tab, and here's what it does. You've got all your tabs up here on the top. If you're a tab maniac, then you're going to love this. You click one tab, and holy shit, everything is just one tab. And then what's nice is you can restore all these. You've got more options here. You name this tab group or whatever. And then we can share it as a web page. Now this is a link that can be shared like this or with a QR code. And also when you guys are watching um, Crit Show, this is where we get our links. So you just copy this and paste it right on the website and we're good to go. So one tab is really handy. Now I'm going to go ahead and copy these and put them into the article. Mm -hmm.